uh, with Rohit Sharma doing so well in test matches, that 100 in England and uh, even here, then you start getting respect of your peers who are test players, people like Pujara, Ashwin who do well in test matches. Then you also have that confidence of being able to tell them things because you yourself have become somebody that they'll respect as test players because you have now excelled at a format that they have excelled. So that makes it a little easier. But I was just telling them about Rohit Sharma where leadership seems to come very easy to him. And how is it, you know, she asked me, handling these, you know, senior spinners in Jadija and Ashwin. Yeah, and I think he's been brilliant. I think Rohit, just from the time he's been there, he has the respect of the dressing room. I think, you know, uh, it's one of those guys who's been around a really long time. Uh, he's the kind of person who doesn't speak a lot, but when he does, people listen. Uh, I think he deeply cares about everyone as well in the group, and I think people see that. So it's obviously his captaincy is really good. He's got the smarts. He understands the game, uh, but also someone who's a really good leader off the field as well. You know, I think the guys really gravitate towards that as well. So yeah, we've been really lucky. You know, I mean, uh, to have someone like Rohit follow up from you know Virat and, and the leadership of Virat over four or five years. Uh, we've really been lucky over the last six, seven years in the Test team. You know, we've had some fantastic leaders, and you know, for Indian cricket, that's really important. Rahul, it's come down to a day that India have really been dominating because you didn't expect that in the first two days, the kind of play that you saw. So if you had to look at some of the turning points, was it that double strike over from Ravi Chandran Ashwin? Was it the 100-run partnership, Aksar Patel's batting? Was it Virat Kohli's batting, Rohit Sharma's batting? What do you look at it, or Jadeja's figures? Yeah, this test match moved really up and down. <laughs> it moved all over and then suddenly just, you know, moved really quickly this morning, thankfully for us. But but I thought it was that partnership, you know, if, you, if I go back to 139 for seven, we're sitting out in the dugout there and we know it's not going to be easy batting fourth. Um, and, and we knew that chasing anything around 225, we were happy to chase, 225, 200, 225 was something we were speaking about in the dressing room. We were happy about that. But, um, but yeah, just to get that partnership and to just get those critical runs and then to get close, Bit of a downer yesterday when we conceded 60 runs in 10 overs. We felt, you know, we maybe tried a bit too much. Um, and they came hard at us, they played well. Anything that we bowled fractionally wrong, we overpitched a few, uh, they put it away. Um, and we sort of corrected that, course corrected that today. And, and yeah, and, and you know, it was brilliant. It's just the way the game moved. The balance of the team, Raul, you've got lots of experience there, a few younger guys coming through. It must be good to have all those smart thinking people like this morning. The game was in the balance. You know, what, what was the sort of stuff you spoke about this morning? I think it was just about sticking to that length, you know, letting the wicket do this, the, let, mm. letting the wicket do everything for you. You know, if you stuck to that area, stuck to that and were really patient with it, you we knew we would create some opportunities. We knew they'd come hard at us. And and if and if they hit us from the area that we wanted to bowl in and where we wanted to pitch it, then fine, you know, we take that and shake their hand and, and walk away from that. What we really didn't want to do was I thought last evening we maybe tried too much and, yep. and overpitched too much especially and, and that's something we wanted to correct we said look let's you know and, and, and we learned to be honest we learned from what Australia did mm. I thought Australia Nathan Lyon was absolutely superb through this test match I mean he hit those lengths he hit those areas constantly and and you know you could see that there was something happening from that and if people had to play well then you know from that then that was fine you know you kind of accept that but yeah I think it's the balance for us I think it's just incredible to be able to play test cricket in India now with the kind of depth that we have yeah. you know nine batsmen we're able to play nine batsmen five bowlers it's not easy uh, it's 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 lovely as a coach mm. it doesn't always happen but when it does happen it's uh, it's a, it's it's great to have uh, you mentioned depth uh, but also you know we've seen that the uh, bottom five I mean India has the best record of uh, you know batting contributions post five wickets or six wickets uh, top order, there have been a few who have gone out, uh, off the boil a little bit, which is understandable. But Virat Kohli, I just want to talk about the way he batted, the 44 runs. You know, glad to see him come out and being very keen to see India through. Even in the second innings, I mean, he may have got out the first time stumping ever in his career. Oh, okay. But okay. there were some great signs in the way he batted. Did you feel the same as well, watching yeah. the outside? Yeah, I thought, you know, I just I thought the judgment of length, I think, was yeah. really good. He went forward, he went back. And I was just telling him, in fact, you know, in the middle that there was a sense of calm when he was batting. You can Sometimes you're sitting in the in the dressing room as a coach and, and you could sort of felt that calmness when he was playing yeah. in, in these couple of innings. So, which is always a great sign. I mean, he's been working really hard. These are tricky wickets, you know, you need, you cannot play a perfect innings on these wickets. You need a little bit of luck. You need he almost played one in the first innings. Almost, yeah, yeah, it was almost perfect. And, mm -hmm. and you need a little bit of rub of the green to go your way. It probably didn't go his way in the first innings and he probably could have set himself up because the ball, as we saw, did get a little bit easier to bat on once the, it got to 50 overs, 55 overs, it got a bit softer. He probably got us through that period and then, you know, uh, just, uh, and then just unfortunate to lose his wicket there. Sorry, Mayanti, just a curious mind. Uh, yeah. This is a great opportunity. I want to talk about Rohit Sharma, the batter. Yeah. He plays all three formats, but just watching him from the outside, seems like at the moment, 
today he seems to be in great harmony with test cricket i mean the batting that we've seen yeah, in that you know first test match here as well in england so what's your thoughts he's a bombay batsman grown up in the maidans man <laughs> 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 you know, what test we, we, cricket we, first we, we, we know a few yeah. of those guys yeah. we know how good a few yeah, of those but, guys you know, are from the bombay batsman compared to the batsmen. other format it seems like no, he's exactly. in great harmony with test cricket as of today it could change uh, a month later or whatever but as of I today it seems he's just like. he's been very unlucky i mean from the time that i've come he's hardly played test cricket mm -hmm. you know he's just not he's, he's unfortunately kept getting himself injured and I, i told him you know and it was just <laughs> unfortunate not to have him in south africa it was unfortunate not to have him for the test match against england you know it just it just you can see the difference that it makes he's just a class player he's got the time and the way he plays spin bat in front of the pad he just knows how to dominate spinners when he needs to like i said you know good old fashion Mm -hmm. old school test batsman and he can the beauty of him is that he can change that in other formats as well so you know, that impetus but i have to ask about the man on the other end because there's a lot if you have a conversation with kl rahul right now who hasn't had a chance to play too much test cricket as well what's your conversation with kl rahul right now ah with kl is just to keep trusting his processes and trusting what he's doing you know i think it this happens this is a phase it happens to everyone he's been probably one of our most successful overseas batsmen for us that's a very important thing to as well to see we know that you know he's he's, he's got hundreds in australia he's got hundreds in england he's got hundreds in south africa you know he's done really well for us and yes he's going through a tough period and everyone goes through those periods you know you just have to back yourself and and trust yourself through that we we've, we've supported him and we still continue to support him and back him all the way and we know he'll come good like i was just telling him again you need a bit of rubber the green you know again just what happened to him today was again very unfortunate and uh, sometimes when things are not going for you you know this is what happens but on other days when it starts happening then he's got the class and the quality to turn it Absolutely. around and ral your job as a coach your main role is it to sort of uh coach technical things or is it just keep a lid on uh, i guess the focus like you guys are almost number 1 in 3 formats you've got a huge following around the world you've got a, a test championship almost on the horizon how difficult is it to keep everybody focused and, and in the bubble no it's been great it's been great working with this with bunch of boys we play a lot of cricket and mm. you know we're going from formats to formats uh it's almost just managing the squads around these formats is probably some of the toughest things yep. that i have to deal with and but uh, but no one it's not a lot of technical coaching you're not going to coach guys who played 100 <laughs> test matches too much they won't listen to you, you. Know, <laughs> <laughs> i'm learning a lot from yeah, them so okay. no it's not a lot of technical stuff at this level it's, uh, it's obviously it's just a lot of conversations tactics mm. just trying to create a right environment yeah. uh, just you know challenging people when they sometimes need to be challenged and just giving them a pat on the back when they need it looks the same from 2001 He does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A few more grey whiskers. A few more grey whiskers, but pretty similar. Well, wouldn't wouldn't, yeah. want, wouldn't wanted him, him back in the day. Wouldn't want to bowl you out there. <laughs> Never have got you out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, WTC is something that you've said is that kind of template. Now, just carrying that confidence forward into the next two test matches that have to be played. What is the ultimate agenda? How do you get ground yourself back? You've retained the ball. Yeah, we, we still haven't qualified. Yeah. I mean, for that's for starters. Yeah. So I won't want to think too far ahead. I think one of the things we've spoken a lot about at the start of the series is is to stay in the moment and not look uh, too far ahead just play one test match at a time so we did that really well in nagpur we we were made to fight really hard for for a couple of days here we've done that really well coming here on the third day with under pressure a little bit this morning um and 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 yeah i think we we sort of celebrate today and we'll enjoy today but i think when we get to nagpur after a bit of a break i think we forget what's happened in these two games and try and switch back on and get back on to uh, to Nagpur which will be lovely to play a test match in Nagpur as well because i know that yeah. test matches there are going to be very well supported we have all been sort of afflicted by stress eating you know mm. after a stressful day we eat uh, the kind of stuff we don't <laughs> need to or shouldn't does that happen is there enough stress or it's there's, manageable there's stress too much of tasty stuff in no, that dressing no 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 you have to clear up a mystery for us was it chole bhature that was delivered to virat kohli It's not chole but it was what kulcha chole Kul chole chole oh. kulcha or some famous and he, 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 he was tempting me with it I said I'm 50 years old I can't handle that you <laughs> can he's fit enough to handle that <laughs> Well we got the great mark water try it so I mean that's one it accomplishment It wasn't too bad was right yeah. yeah yep not too spicy I'm Tell not having, okay? not having okay. it ever again but I tried <laughs> it it was okay so, And as you were happy we saw a fire brigade you know <laughs> buzz go past <laughs> yeah. and it was the right time when he was having that mm. um, yeah spicy Exactly Okay guys we got it wrong It was chole kulche, not you know chole bhature. Heard from the coach himself. Rahul, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thanks, Rahul. Yeah. Conversation was had as well. So there you go. One of the biggest mistakes Gentlemen. that have been solved. Not the first time we've got things wrong. So, no, no. <laughs>